Nelly, I did not plan on shooting another video today. Uh, in fact, I have a live stream in about 30 minutes to get ready for when somebody was DMing me about the entire set of Dominaria, the set that Wizards said would blow us all away, the set everybody used to say, yeah, Masters 25 sucked, but Dominaria will save us all, has already been leaked. The entire set. I don't understand how this keeps happening. It's truly sad. We see Wizards of the Coast acknowledge in a post today. I think they posted this at the end of the day. I was actually going to do a video about the leaks. The other, uh, um, And by the way, spoiler alert, okay? And if you're somebody that wants to be surprised when Dominaria comes out, uh, you know, I will let you know when I'm going to go into the spoilers and then leave a like before you leave uh, for, for warning you. As many of you might know, there's a document going around with the Chinese Dominaria release. Notes, as you can imagine, this has caught the attention of the community and has been rapidly translated. Yeah, with Google Translate, but whatever. It's true, it's real, and it sucks this information got out earlier than we intended. Months ahead of time. It's like even the printing companies are against you. In this case, we messed up by inadvertently letting this out the door. It's not ideal, but we are going to make the best of it by trying a few new things to make sure that you still get fun and exciting look at our return to Dominaria for Magic's 25th anniversary. I actually feel bad for Wizards. Um... There's a bit of schadenfreude, I suppose, but uh, I'm just hoping that all these colossal fuck-ups lead to some people getting fired. Like, some people need to get fired at Wizards. So they're bringing in... First, they're just going to leak everything. Wizards have said, here's the list. Look at it. I think that's fine. On Monday, we'll release the Mechanics article by Matt Tabak. Tuesday, we'll release some preview articles that were already written to give you a look at some of the thoughts behind Flavorful, Resonant, Incredible Set. We will not be releasing the full card image gallery for the set, despite the rules and text of so much of it already getting out. There are actually a ton of cool surprises in the art. Eh. The look of the cards and the flavor text. We know many of our fans value these bits about the cards, and we're still going to make every effort to make those exciting. We also have a super secret, <laughs> until it gets leaked, associate, project associated with Dominaria that involves a fun new way to play Magic. We, have, we had already planned to talk about it, but now we can talk about it using Dominaria cards as an example. So we'll call that a silver lining. We won't stop there. We've done a lot of work to give you a look behind the scenes. So return to the Magic's home plane and we'll celebrate what makes Dominaria so special to our fans. They'll have access Magic episodes with Richard Garfield and Mark Rosewater. Five episodes of the Magic Story podcast and three new episodes of Enter the Battlefield looking at what it means to return to Dominaria. All right, now, spoiler alert. If you don't want to know anything about the set, leave a like and then shut it down. <laughs> I'm not going to go through every single card. I just want to show you kind of what they shared. If you're the type of person that wants to go through that, um, you can do that. But I definitely don't don't think um, leaks are, are that great. I, I also don't agree. So I'm not necessarily going to go through all the cards. I still want to be surprised. Here we have the release notes. Dominaria is a set that contains 269 cards, 20 basic lands, 53 rare, and 15 mythic. The events will be April 14th, right around my birthday. Unfortunately, I'm banned from Magic for Life, so I can't attend any of these events, but you hopefully can. It becomes legal for constructed play on its official release date. Sure, we know this. Here are some story spotlights from mtgstory.com. We've got Broken Bond, Final Parting, Settle the Score, and in Bolus's Clutches. The spotlight cards in the set feature a Planeswalker symbol icon next to their text boxes. The icon has no effect on gameplay. The printed cards include the mtgstory.com URL, and that's pretty cool, I guess. 
So we have some, they talked about the mechanics. So we have saga cards. Each saga tells a story of a key event from the past. I like how they build, they're going to build some history and hopefully they don't screw that up. They'll say as saga enters and after, uh, as the saga enters and after your draw step at a lore counter. And so we have history of Benalia, one double white, um, create a two, two white creature token with vigilance or pay three knights you control, get plus two plus one. Oh, I'm sorry. That's with the lore counters. Pretty cool. I'm not going to go through. I might do these in a separate video if you guys want me to discuss it, but I don't really want to spoil it too badly. Major theme. We have legendary permanence now. Legendary characteristics, new and old, have risen to prominence across the plane. In every Dominaria booster pack, you'll find at least one legendary creature. Beyond just creatures, the set will also feature a significant number of other legendary cards. We have a Mox Amber. Tap, add one mana color of any color among, uh, among legendary creatures and planeswalkers you control. That's pretty spicy. Oh, starting with Dominaria, legendary cards, other planeswalkers use a modified card frame with additional flourishes on the title bar. We have legendary sorceries now, like Urza's Ruinous Blast, four and a white. Exile all non-land permanents that aren't legendary. Spicy. We have historic. See, I, I can see the theme here with Dominaria, right? I don't know if this... I, I kind of prefer stuff that's Dominaria related, not the fact that we're, like, looking back. But if you look at the set and the set's cards, legendary cards and artifact cards, you'll see a broad swath of Dominaria's extensive and mysterious history. Some cards celebrate the plain storied past by rewarding you for playing these historic cards. Historic is a game term that refers to a card that has his, the legendary super type, the artifact card type, or the saga and our chain, and our enchantment type. We have Jehora Weatherlight Captain. And we have Kicker coming back. That'll be fun. Bailoth Gorger. And they changed the Planeswalker redirect rule change. What do you think about this? I'm not a fan of this. Is it because they want to keep Planeswalkers around longer? What do you think the idea of uh, the, the thought behind ban uh, changing that now? We have some... Oh, they have Lanoir Elves... Now we have check lands in this set. That would have been probably the big one of the big reveals. But now it's spoiled. I think that's all I'm going to go through. I don't I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I want to really dig deep into this uh, or I guess I'll let you tell me. You guys let me know if you want me to go through this or not and I will if you want me to. Uh, if not, then I'll we'll just kind of go back. Maybe we'll talk about the leaks like the process of leaking. We'll talk about maybe the Planeswalker power, the direct ch damage change, or if you just want me to totally go through it, I'll do that too. So I'll look uh, for your response in the comment section down below.